Just ask me a question. What was the original nugget of the idea? I was a teenager in the late 70s, you know, it was rock and roll and punk rock began, and there's always this do-it-yourself mentality. You want to start a band? Get a guitar. You want to go see Paris before you die? Get on a plane. You want to tell somebody you love them? Tell them today you love them. Put it into action, whatever it may be. I'm the guy who just got up one day and said, I'm going to do this, and lo and behold, here I am in New York City receiving a winemaker of the year. It's unbelievable. I started this venture, you know, 14 years ago, driving into Wall Wall in my 87 Chevy Astro van with $5,000 borrowed and a dream that I wanted to make wine, have a small town life. When I got started and the reception I received for the way that I would communicate my wines, my brands, it gave me uh, energy to, to do more and be more creative and really put myself out there. I was full steam ahead and I've never looked back. They say, you know, the world is black and white. So my labels are black and white because they're the most pure and clean communication. The wines stand out on the shelves. They look beautiful on a table, whether it be one of my more classic labels, like the K wines, or something more modern, like the Kung Fu Girl. They look stylish. They look smart. They look like something is going to be good inside this bottle. I'm not trying to sell an image. I'm trying to tell you what you're going to find within. I grow great grapes. I grow great wine. I have a tremendous responsibility as a wine producer that people are going to consume what I make to give the absolute best effort I possibly can. And it begins in the vineyard and it ends in somebody's glass. How fantastic is that? I don't create a faux European story for my American winery. I love French wine, I love Spanish wine, I love Portuguese wine, I love German wine, I love Italian wine, I love Austrian wine, I love wine from Australia, I love wine from Chile, I love wine from Argentina. But I want those wines to, to be what they are. I don't want a bottle of Kung Fu Girl from Germany, but it makes perfect sense from the new world to have a wine called Kung Fu Girl. It seems like every year something new unfolds and the next door opens, the next door opens. And the next door for us is uh, coming to Seattle, building a new winery here, having people have the access to come see us, see what we do. When Adam called me from the wine enthusiast, I was going through a car wash at the time. Charles, did you understand that you were uh, nominated for Winemaker of the Year? I said, yeah, this year and the last two, it was always a bridesmaid and never a bride. And he said, Charles, you're the bride. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't be happier. I'm so excited to have received this honor.